Hello, guys. In today's video, I will show you how to AFK grind the robotic claw minigame. Sadly, this method only work on PC. Sorry mobile players. So now, get into the method. This method uses auto hotkey. If you don't have it installed, you can download it from their website link is in the description. Make sure to download v1.1, not v2.0. After installing auto hotkey, create an auto hotkey script and name it whatever you want. After creating the auto hotkey script, go to this website link is in the description and copy the code. Now, go back to the file you created earlier. Open it with notepad and paste the code in it. Now, we need to set it up to work on your screen size. You will only have to do this step once. First save the file, open it. Then open the apps running in the background. Right click on auto hotkey and click on Windows 5. Next, go back in Roblox. Now, click on Roblox and make sure the numbers are updating. Now put your cursor between the 3 and 4 binds. Then hold shift and click on Windows 5. Now release shift and copy the numbers in front of window, then paste them in drop button variables. First number goes in drop button X, and the second in drop button Y. Now go to the robotic claw minigame, and open the pet selection UI. Now put your cursor on the first pet in the menu, then hold shift, click on window spy, release shift and copy the numbers in front of window, and then paste them in the code in pet to use variables. The first number goes in X, and the second number goes in Y. The last variable depends on how you want to use the macro. If you want to only use one ticket or only play the minigame once, set it to zero and start the macro during the countdown after you start the minigame. If you want to use all your tickets or play the minigame multiple times, then keep its value at one. For this, you will have to start the macro in front of the robotic claw minigame machine and it will start it by itself. You can change the value of this variable at any time. After setting the value depending on your use, save the file, then close it. To use the macro, you will need to unequip all your pets, and only equip your pet with gamer or MLG runes. You can create a team to quickly equip it. If you don't have a pet for minigames, you can just use any pet. Also make sure you have the chat and the player leaderboard hidden as they can confuse the macro. After doing all the previous steps, save the macro file and reload it. Now, to start the macro, just press F1. If you want to stop it, press F1 again. In this clip, you can see that I missed up the button coordinates which make it unable to click on it. If you have done the same mistake, just open Window Spy again and get the true button coordinates. Don't forget to click on Roblox and make sure the numbers are updating then hold shift and only release it after clicking on window spy. As I said, you will only have to do this once. If you get everything right, you won't have to change it anymore. Don't forget to save and reload the macro. If everything was done correctly, the end result should look something like this. Keep in mind that this macro is made to only work on a fixed window size. So make sure to have it on either maximize or full screen when setting up and using the macro. The reason why it is missing a lot is because my FPS is low as I am recording. If your FPS is more than 50, it shouldn't miss. If you have bad FPS try lowering the settings or join a private or empty server. If you are experiencing any problems, reach out to me and I will try my best to help at Dir3L3Arab on Discord and Twitter.
that is all. Now, we'll leave you with the rest of the clip. Hi, I didn't expect you to stick around this far into the video. Thank you so much for watching the whole video. It means a lot to me. So yeah, that is all for today. Thank you for watching. See you soon in my next video.